Hello everybody, it's uh, CMonkey420 back again with another GPD Pocket 3 uh, video here. I'm um, just going to show off actually the Android um, Windows subsystem for Android on Windows 11. Uh, I basically installed it via a GitHub installer that basically builds the proper packages uh, with Google Play Store included. So it lets you do all the Google apps that way. So here we go. I'm just going to do it from cold boot here since I'm dual booting Windows 10 and Windows 11, both Pro. Okay, let's see here. We get into Windows 11 first. Yeah, you know, Windows 11, it's, hmm, I'm getting used to it. I like the fact that I can, you know, run Android apps on it. That's actually really cool. Um, start menu changes, not a fan of. Right click context menus, they're pretty, but they don't show you half the things you need, which is annoying. That should be an easy way to translate that into the GUI with just reading, you know, the registry key. And giving it a generic theme, but nonetheless, uh, let's see here, one second. Let me log in. Oop, wrong one. Yeah, the fingerprint reader is hit or miss on this thing. It's not that great, really. Um, yeah, but so I already have it installed at the moment. Um, and I have a, quite a few apps here, so I'll show you off. How about YouTube TV here? Which is kind of nice, you know, because I don't really want to have to run it in a browser. see here probably helps if I click on it <laughs> the first time loading the apps will take a second or two but uh it's not too bad though touch screen works beautifully multi-point and everything um I haven't used the pen yet I believe pen pass through will work too and I think recognize as a pen maybe even we could try that later here so yeah I think um let's see what do I have for apps installed here we have I have YouTube Roku, uh, Google Maps works, just doesn't, actually a GPS pass through fine too. Um, Google Voice, some games like Golf Clash, that actually works pretty decent. A little laggy at the graphics because the GPU on this thing isn't too good. It's, you know, Intel XE, Iris or whatever. Um, here we go, so yeah. It's kind of neat just being able to do it. Um, it's pretty, I don't like the, the official version is kind of weak. But the one I'm, I'll put in the about area will uh, let you actually run an up. You can actually run up, run it, install it, and then even update it with the script again. And then basically, there's a PowerShell command that runs that will upgrade everything and keep all your apps and settings. So yeah, there you go, YouTube TV, yay! Let's see how it works. I haven't actually watched anything on here yet, so we'll see. Let me turn the volume up. Where's my? There it is. I'm trying to think if I'm on the network. Oh, I gotta be on the network. Yeah, we're good. Networking stuff through Android is, I think, a little like we're seeing right now. I don't think it's getting full speeds at all. Or, I don't know. I might have to look into this more. So I've been able to download updates and in-app stuff, so I don't know if it's just... Oh, maybe my... Oh yeah, there you go. It's funny. When all portrait mode on us now. Yeah, it gets kind of wonky because it's not sure if it's tablet or not. There, yeah, that's weird. One downfall. Let me actually turn off rotation lock here. And actually you'll get notifications in the notification center too. From the Android uh, apps and everything. If you love them around in the background. But... Oh yeah, that one was a bad demo. My bad. <laughs> so let's see, classic Angry Birds. I forgot I bought those way back in the day. Angry Birds space. I never really game this. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, sound works. Touch. Yay, whatever, I don't care. Yeah, older games like this work great. Let's see if I know how to play. Oh man, there's so many things to get through. So yeah, pretty cool. 
Let's see here, we'll show a little Google Maps. Yay, fun. Dark theme always, of course. Save. Multi-zoom pinching. Let's see here. Yeah. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, you can get directions and everything too. Yeah, so it's kind of fun just to be able to do it. And of course, you know, let's see here. Do the, what, here we go. Do a little flippy here. Take advantage of our portrait mode. Okay. Getting the start menu some days is the hardest part when you're trying to auto hide it. Ah, oh, stupid keyboard, I don't care. Come on, there we go, okay. Yeah, I should change that setting. It's annoying. Um, Golf Clash. That's a fun, you know, free. Yeah, I'll zoom out here. It's a little laggy, but I'm running this on um, battery saving settings when it's not uh, on power. So I bet if I boosted uh, the TDP, it'd probably run pretty fine. Yeah, whatever. We'll play and lose here. Ah, uh, sure. Oh, God. Oh, I'll take my shot here. I haven't played in so long. I was playing this for a long time. So you, you'll see it's downloading. Of course, it has, I think, internet pass-through, or it does like a... I don't know. Not going to pretend I know. Okay. Yeah, so far I've been using this as my main daily driver and been loving it, actually. It's, I'm getting older, so i got to scale the text up. The font size up in the OS, of course, but it's beautiful. Wow, free shot. It's a lot of taps just to get my free shot, isn't it? Okay, let's see. We're going to do like that. Get lucky here. Uh, we'll see. Too much. Uh oh. Oh well. Good times. And then of course you have setting you have the Play Store here and then we have Amazon App Store. Amazon App Store has like sixteen well, it has some apps but they're not that many. And a lot of the apps actually won't work on here either. Um they'll say not available for a device, but Still, at least you get, most of them, you get all your Google apps if you want those, and you get, you know, Microsoft Excel, Word, and all that stuff. The only downfall is you can't really get your files to the Android OS easily. Most likely, you'd have to use ADB and do, like, a, like push commands through the command prompt. But you could, you know, make a batch file where you have it just drag and drop the files onto the batch file, which then would activate ADB and then pass it through. But again, that's a lot of work, so. Anywho, so yeah, I still like this little guy. He's fun. My hinge does have a little bit of a, it does, it is a little high over here and doesn't sit flush when closed, but you know what? It doesn't bother me. So, all right, there you go. A little Windows subsystem for Android on Windows 11, stable build, not insider edition, on our GPD Pocket 3. And to that, geek out.